What's up everyone? It's Branto75 and through a popular request I have decided that I'm going to show you how to set up a craft bucket server so this way if some of you don't know how to add, make a craft bucket server and you're watching my plugin tutorials like oh shit I don't even know how to do any of this this is gonna help you alright so first thing we need to do is this is gonna be a longer tutorial it's gonna be really simple but it's gonna be longer because there's a lot of shit you gotta do okay so first thing we need to do we need to get bucket so go to the bucket page and you should be like one of these posts right here and you just want to click continue reading and then you want to click download craft bucket I've already downloaded it but yeah so I have my craft bucket right here so and now we need to drop this into a new folder so go ahead and create a server folder or whatever you wish um, just make sure you put it in a folder somewhere that's easy to find because otherwise it's probably going to end up all over your desktop and we don't want that so drop that in there okay Next thing we need to do, your thing is going to be labeled craft bucket r1.0 something something. So you just want to rename that as just plain old craft bucket. Um, if your thing has dot jar in it, make sure you leave the dot jar. But my system knows to uh, keep this as a jar, so it keeps it as a jar. Alright, so now you have that renamed. Now we're going to need to do is open up notepad. Okay? And in the description I'm going to have this. This is what you need to start your server. So we're going to copy this in and then paste. Right here is where you add different amount of RAM. So if you want two gigs of RAM to run, you so you do two zero four eight and then um, and then pretty much just go through. I'll have a megabytes to gigabytes converter in the description box as well. So, but I'm gonna have mine on one gig because I have a server running already. Okay. And then we're going to save this. And then we're going to save this at run dot bat. And completely ignore save type. Just make sure you have run dot bat and then we're going to save this into our server server folder save okay now what we need to do we need to go and port forward our router so that way people can join us and it's not just localhost so we need to go to our router so however you decide to go to your router decide to do that and then what you need to do, you need to look for something that's kind of like applications and gaming or port forwarding, single port forwarding, something like that. And you're going to have a bunch of ports that you need to forward. Uh, actually, you only have one port you need to forward, but that's besides the point. So if you're uh, only running one server, then you only need to add the port 25565 and then the internal as 25565 set the protocol to both and then now what we need to do we need to go and find out what our IP IPv4 address so go to go to your start and type in CMD press enter and then it's also the same if you're on like Windows XP you will just go to run there'll be a run button right here and then you just want to type CMD and then continue on with me then you're gonna type IP config okay now right here is your IPv4 address if you're on a uh, Windows XP I believe it just says um, IP address um, you want that you don't want your default gateway okay you want your IPv4 it's gonna end in um, it's gonna look like your default gateway but it's going to end in different numbers so mine is 192.168.101 so right here at the end I'm going to put 101 and then enable it um, but since I already have all my ports I needed forwarded I'm not going to do this and that's pretty much all port forwarding is um, some plugins require other ports to be forwarded like like dynamic map they require the 8123 port um, WAMP servers require require the 3306 port um, 
just depending on what plugins you're using and um, what applications you're using, they're going to require different ports sometimes. So, and that's pretty much all there is, all it is for port forwarding. All right, so now we're at the time where we can run our server. And since it's first time boot up, it's going to take a, uh, it's going to take maybe a minute. Uh, or not. Uh, I guess that's what happens when you have a wicked fast computer. So let's go to stop. Okay. And now we're going to have all this fancy new stuff. And we're going to want to go down here to the server properties file, not the server log file. Okay, so you want to open up your server. <coughs> and right here is where you have all your options to configure about your server. I'm not going to go over all of them. Um, but pretty much it's it's all self-explanatory if you want to allow fly you enable that to true so if, if you want to allow fly you do true but I don't like flight so false I have permissions based flight anyway so now right here right here is the most important one is the server IP Oops. this needs to be your IPv4 address so 192.168.1.101 and that's pretty much it if you want to uh, customize your message of the day so it'll be like hello world and that's pretty much it so then we just gotta save this and we can close that out all right next thing we gotta do we need to get our external IP address this will be the IP address that players use the website I like the most is IP Chicken. I'll have this in the description box for you as well. And it will show you your IP address. And so you want to copy this. Copy. And we want to go into Minecraft. And we're going to just put this in Direct Connect. I already have mine there. <clears throat> if you're using a default uh, 25565 port, you don't need to worry about adding the, the port. But since I'm running a separate server, I need to go into a separate port. So yeah, so now we just need to start up our server, and then we just do run. Oops, I didn't change the port. Silly me. <clears throat> yeah, uh, if you're running on a separate port, make sure you have the correct port in. Otherwise, it's going to default to 25565. Save. There we go. Done. All right, so now when I join server, Bada bing bada boom. You have officially set up a craft bucket server. <clears throat> now if you just need to add a <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm a little sick. If you want to add plugins and uh, permissions and MC bands and stuff, I have tutorials for them. If you want a tutorial for another plugin, um, please go ahead and drop me a comment in the description box. And remember everything you'll need will be in the description. I will have uh, all the links. I'll have megabyte to gig um megabytes to gigabyte converters. I'll have uh, all the links you'll need. I'll have all the information. So the description box is going to be your best friend in in this video. So I want you all to have a fabulous day and come check out my server. Peace.